Grace Mix. Today I will be making a little bit of a different video. We are going to be discussing what is in my cross country bag and I'm going to be sharing some tips on what and what not to do in cross country. Okay, so we're just going to jump right into this and I'm going to show you what's in my cross country bag. So in this first pocket, I have a mask and this is what I, it's a like med bag that I carry around. And it has some band-aids specifically for blisters, the waterproof ones that help settle. And then I have some ibuprofen, some Aleve, and I have some Tums if you have any acid reflux. And then I have some liquid bandage to put over your blisters. And let me just tell you, you cannot bring enough socks to cross country meets. It's just, it'll, they'll come in handy. Just trust me, bring at least three. Alrighty, and I have some of these uh, Clean and Clear Lemon Cleansing Wipes. They're oil-free plus vitamin C, and I always just, you don't want to feel all gross after you run and sweaty, so I normally wipe my face off with those afterwards. And then, so I use this Gold Bond uh, Friction Defense, and so this just helps chafing anywhere. So yes, and then I use Suave 24 Hour Protection uh, Deodorant. So, so jumping into what I wear, I normally get on the bus. It depends on how long the bus ride, but normally I put on some sweatpants and my uniform shirt and already have my shorts underneath just so I'm ready, but still comfortable. So, what, so this is my, I'm not gonna show you the front of it because it's my school, but th this is my tank top that we um, compete in. And it's just a normal athletic tank top. And then personally, I like to wear Spanx to run in just because it's they're comfortable to me, but whatever's fine. So I wear these from Under Armour and I'll link um, the different pairs of shorts and clothing in the description. And these are um, some shorts that I have. They're called the Split Kick Shorts. They're super lightweight, very comfortable. They're also from Under Armour. And then I, these are the sweatpants I was talking about, but they're just our school sweatpants. They're from Under Armour and I'll link these down there too. But they're just some joggers. They're super lightweight, comfortable. And then I have, again, a t-shirt from Under Armour that I normally wear after the race. I can't show you the front, but I will link that in the description also. And when I um, go to meets, I bring about three pairs of shoes. So I bring my shoes I run in. I bring tennis shoes for while I'm cheering on the rest of my teammates. So if I don't want to be wearing my sandals and my feet start hurting. So I bring um, some, an extra pair of tennis shoes. But okay, so my uh, cross country tennis shoes right now are in the washing machine because I have a meet tomorrow. So I was just wanting to get those washed and dried and all that. So I will insert a picture of those. And then I bring um, just some Birkenstocks just because if I want to wear them on the bus ride home or I wear these on the bus ride there normally. And so that's pretty much all for what I wear. So yeah, I'm going to be talking about what to do, what not to do, some hacks that I've learned in the past two years. So um, one is to stay hydrated. You think that a couple cups of water a day is going to do you good. No, it does not. I used normally a week before the meet, I drink a gallon of water a day. It's hard in the beginning. You'll feel like you need to go to the bathroom every hour but it is worth it because you will feel so good when it comes to your race. So what I bring to cross country meets is this water bottle. It's 40 ounces and I normally bring like three or four water bottles also. So I fill this thing up like halfway with ice just so it keeps it cold. So bring plenty of water. You think you'll have enough, you won't. Plus if anyone else runs out of water, you'll have extra for them too. So, um, also, so going before season, um, 
All, if your team doesn't practice during the summer, I highly recommend that you practice on your own or like go with like a group of friends and you all work out and run your distance and try to run further. It's just really helpful. You'll feel amazing when it comes to race season. So yes, um, and the night before your meet, um, the best thing to do, uh, what I do, which I'll be doing tonight because I have a cross country meet tomorrow. Um, I normally take an ice bath. They are really, they're really not fun. I'm not going to lie to you. They're not fun at all, but I highly recommend them because if you have any sore muscles at all, that will relieve them. I always put a little bit of Epsom salt in mine too, so that kind of helps. And then, um, okay, so don't, the day before your meet, do not go and eat bunches of crap food. There's no, no, drink lots of water too. So no honey buns, no cake, nothing like that. And so I recommend for dinner, I recommend eating pastas because carbs and they'll give you lots of energy for the day, uh, the next day. And so I normally have some fettuccine alfredo, some chicken, just for some protein and all of that. So, um, and don't stay up till 3 a.m. and then go run a meet the next day. That's just not, that's not what to do. So I recommend going to bed around, I go to bed around 9, 9.30 on race night. So, um, I'm going to talk about my favorite places to shop for like shorts and athletic shirts during practice and like the best shoes that I have. And so um, going into shorts, the best place honestly is academy.com. So I will put the link in the description, but I, um, there's lots of good running shorts from, I wear shorts from Under Armour. There's a couple from Nike. Um, and I like these, it's, they're called BCG. It's just a relevant brand and it, they're really nice. So I'll link that in the description also. But um, my top three probably shoe um, brands are Saucony, Brooks, and Hoka. So we have the Saucony Endorphin Speed, the Brooks Revel 3, the Hoka 1-1 Rincon, and it doesn't matter what they look like because comfort is key in this situation. So... Uh, right now, I have two pairs of cross-country shoes. I have one from Saucony and one from Brooks. Honestly, they both work perfectly fine. I recommend going and trying them on and not just ordering them online so you know what you like. Honestly, go run in the store a little bit. It's not going to hurt. So, yes. I think that covers everything for this video. I really hope I covered everything, but I hope this is helpful for you. I know if I was starting out in cross country, this would be helpful for me. So um, yes, and I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time on Carly Grace Mix.